will be ranking all of the games on the top four Minecraft servers um, that are featured on Minecraft. So I'm doing all the featured ones except for mine though. So yeah, I'm just going to list them and from my least favorite to my favorite and um, explain what they are and why they're in that position. Okay, so let's get started. My very least favorite one on this list um, that is the last one is Line Dash on the Cubecraft server. The reason I don't like this one is because the games are so short, they don't even last 30 seconds. Um, they're boring. Like, it's just boring. I don't know why you would want to play that. And then, um, another reason is it kind of is confusing to do. Like, yeah, it's just confusing. So, yeah, so let's go to the next one, and this is Line Dash. My next one is Dungeons on the Lifeboat server. The reason I don't like this one is because it's basically just plain survival. But you're trapped in a dungeon with mobs, and it's just plain. You go around and kill them. And kind of boring, so. Yeah. Now, the next one is Zombie Apocalypse, which is also on the lifeboat server. Basically, you choose a role, and you um, go around and fight the mobs in different types of ways. And it's just like dungeons, and it's boring. So, yeah. At least you get to pick a role, though. Unlike dungeons one is um prison this one is just really boring for me and kind of confusing and hard and just not very interesting or entertaining so yeah now this next one is on mindplex and it is mob arena mob arena is basically the same thing as dungeons literally the same thing except you have a partner so that makes it more fun the next one is Micro Battle on Mindplex also. Micro Battle is kind of confusing. You try and kill each other. And basically, I just dig into the thing and hide. Because it's really confusing and it doesn't make sense. If it made sense, it might be more fun. Um, this one is Dragons. Um, also on Mindplex. It's kind of confusing, like the other games. I just know that there's a dragon flying around. Trying to blow you up. I don't know what the object of the game is, though. Maybe if I did, it would be more fun. Next one is Cake Wars on Mindplex, and I know everyone loves this game. Um, I just don't like this game. It's confusing and it's boring. It's like a copy of Egg Wars and Sky Wars, and it's just not my thing. The next one is Skyblock. It ranges from a bunch of servers, including Mindplex, Lifeboat, and a couple others that I can't think of right now. You just go to other people's skies blocks and try and survive. Basically, it's basic survival, but it's hard and boring. The next one is starting to get to the better games on um, Speed Village. This is more fun than the other games. Maybe if I got used to it, I'd like it more. Um, but it's kind of challenging and frustrating. But I like it. It's okay. This next one is Capture the Flag on the Lifeboat Surfer. So basically, this is so fun to play. I love this game. But it's still ranked pretty far back because they have so much more amazing games on the server. Um... Basically, it's capture the flag and bring it back to your base. Pretty simple. The next one is on Mineplex, and it is Block Hunt. This is a version of Hide and Seek, but being a seeker is hard and boring. I do like being a hider, even though sometimes it's boring. If you shoot your arrows, that's fun to trick them. But being a seeker is so hard, and it's just not fun. But the game is next overall. is still pretty good. It's carving chairs on Cubecraft. 
Basically, you carve the pumpkin's design and copy it into the pumpkin and you try and get as many done as you can. Pretty simple, also kind of fun, but it's just basic. But it's fun. This one is also super fun, like the other one that I said, um, Lucky Block Sky Wars. So, you go around and you do Lucky Blocks, and I do love this game, and you can a lot of fun but there's just too much going on and people always steal your stuff so if you don't get anything then you kind of just die at first so yeah the next game is egg wars and i believe it's on keycraft so egg wars is like there's an egg and if it, yours is destroyed you don't respawn now this is pretty fun it's similar to bed wars and um treasure wars but this is the one i played the least so i just think it's less fun than the other ones this one is more fun it is sky wars now sky wars is very fun but it's kind of hard sometimes and really frustrating when you die really really soon the next one is survival game now plain pvp fight to the death if you don't get out of there in time you're dead boring and it is on a bunch of servers. Like some of the other ones that I didn't say, they're on bunches of servers. This one is Turf Wars. It's on Mindplex. And I, this is getting down to my favorite games. Now, Turf Wars is very fun. You shoot each other and one with the most kills at the end and takes over the most turf wins. And that's just, I just love it. It's fun. Now we have Build Battle. Um, it's on Mindplex and... The hide. I build believe. battle. You just build whatever the thing is, and then you all vote on who is the best. What I don't like about it is people vote really unfair sometimes, and you get the same things over and over again. And sometimes they're really hard things. Next, we have minorware. So minorware um, is like just you can play a bunch of small mini games on Cubecraft, and it's kind of hard sometimes and frustrating. The next one that we have is Bed Wars. It's basically the same as Egg Wars, but with a bed. And for some reason, I play it more and I like it better. This one is kind of not a game. It is Creative Housing on Mindplex. Um, it's a house. Um, not a house, but like they have a certain amount of build area to build a whatever they want. They can give people permission to build, fly, or just walk around and look. You can build anything you want and you can do role plays or anything with other people and I just There's love a it. new game on the Hive server called Ghost Invasion. Um, basically you're either a ghost or a human. Humans try and shoot the ghost, ghosts try and shoot the humans. Basically a big war and then you're yeah. Getting down to the top four we have Treasure Wars. Now Treasure Wars just like Bed Wars but the thing I do like about it is you can do Mega I also like to hide in Treasure Wars, and it makes it super fun, like a surviving challenge, kind of, and I love it. So Coming yeah. in third place is Hide and Seek on the Hive server. Hide and Seek is one of my favorite games. You hide as a block, and then you go around and find people. I like it because I know all the spots, and I can find everyone. Hiding is kind of boring, but I still in love that. place, game. we have Death Run. Death run, you complete the challenges that the people are setting off, the people that are against you set off traps as you go through, and it's just super fun, exciting, and challenging. In first place, my very favorite Minecraft game ever is Murder Mystery. Murder Mystery, there's one murderer and 15 innocents. The murderer tries and kill everyone, and the innocents try and survive, collect coins to get bows, and the sheriff has a bow. So, yeah, there's just super fun, and you run around, try, survive, and it's really exciting when you win as murderer. And so, we that wraps up today's video. So, I hope you enjoyed and um, liked our ranking. Um, this is just my opinion on them, and based on how, if I know how to play them very well, and if they're, like, what I like to do. But, anyway... Thank you for watching this video, and bye!